And now they wonder what's gonna happen next I bought a 40 for the ride on swerving lanes when I'm drunk as shit I hit them up when I'm drinking so we can talk about it I tell them how I feel and they forget about me Like they know how it feels to be forgot about, forget about my past It's me! It's me! Simba TV! What is good, YouTube fam? It's your boy Simba coming back here again with another reaction video for you guys today. For today's reaction video, we got Up Church, Mushroom Rick, and the Sus Ferris Will. Let's jump up in it, man. Dude, you ever have a shroom trip and you're like, man, God is totally playing a joke on me right now. There's definitely an author to all this shit. And at this very moment, he's erasing lines and fucking with me directly. <laughs> now to all my shroom takers out there, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. Non-shroom takers, just listen. So a couple years ago, me and my whole band, we went to Panama. We got there, we hit a couple restaurants, found a connect with the shrooms. So he was like, you know, meet me at Pier Park, 2.30. We're like, all right, we will. Which made no sense because it was fucking, there was people everywhere. So we go to Pier Park, <laughs> it's busting, it's like 100 degrees outside. People's coming up to me, are you up church? Yeah, man, what's up, you want a picture? You know, I'm thinking, fuck, this guy's about to show up with these shrooms. I mean, I'm not trying to meet kids and also, you know, buy illegal things at the same time. That's not good. Excuse me, you think my son Timmy can get a picture? Me and little Timmy sitting there chopping it up. We're just wrapping hillbilly together. Got this fucking snow cone. It's melting all down his hand. Fucking his whole face is blue. So I tell the mom, oh, for sure. Just let me go over here and buy these drugs from this smelly fisherman I just met 30 minutes ago. So I'm taking pictures by the Ferris wheel thing at the end of Pier Park, looking around for the guy who's got the stuff. So I'm skimming through the crowd, looking over all the people, thinking it's gonna be hard to find Ricky the Fisherman from Margaritaville. It's not. You ever seen somebody walk really fierce with stiff joints? Kinda like a transformer? The speed of their walking is like five miles an hour faster than everybody else and it's for right. a reason. That's how he was walking. Just kinda like... <laughs> then I'm like, shit, there he is. He's coming pretty quick too. Me and Timmy still rapping hillbilly, bro. We're towards the end too, the best part. Snow cone all the way melted. Looks like we're sitting there rapping, dancing in Smurf blood. He's getting closer and closer with that fierce ass walk. Then he starts yelling up, tra up church, up church, as he's walking. I'm like, yo, no, 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 up church. And as he gets closer, I'm like, he's holding a vase of flowers. Why is he holding a, there's a fucking, <laughs> I ain't even told you what he looks like yet. All right, so imagine you're sitting there, broad daylight in the middle of a tourist town, right? You're taking a picture with this sweet kid and his mom's like, thank you so much, you're so sweet. While this really tan 51 year old guy with a beard that has beads in it, a cut off Motley Crue shirt, a tattoo of a sun around his belly button, really long socks with some Nikes on that are covered in drywall with his mouth open too. You know, you know he got the best drugs. <laughs> Anybody that look like that, they got the best. They got the best shrooms in the nation. <laughs> Trucking it towards you super fast to sell you an illegal substance in the middle of the day while he's holding a bouquet of flowers. Hello. You know, I tell the kid and his mom, like, I'm going to see y'all later. So he finally gets all the way up to me. He fucking... He just like stops right in front of me. Like it's like someone slammed on the brakes. He's sitting right in front of me. He's still got his head cocked back with his fucking, he's like trying to talk to me in a code or something. Like it's a secret and like no one will ever find out. He's holding the vase and I'm, he's like, hey, you want these flowers? Keep in mind, he didn't yelled up church for like 200 feet as he was coming towards me. He was the loudest person in the whole, you know, premises. I mean, bro, I don't know. When you see somebody walk like a brush guard, you know. Hell, he right. even knocked over the lady at the sunglasses hut. And I thought he was gonna help her. He's like, go back to your country. My whole body's numb at this point. I'm like, oh my God. So now at this moment, I'm face to face with this creature trying to buy some shrooms out of this uh, bouquet of flowers he has while everyone that followed him is in the background like, hey church, what's up, man? <laughs> Can I get a picture after that? For sure, bro. Uh, you filming? Yeah, I'm filming and uh, my old lady's live streaming it. Oh, okay. Want these flowers? <laughs> yes, just hang on. When's Creeper 3 come out? Uh, probably towards the fall. They're just flowers, everyone. <laughs> Keep in mind, the background's got young people, older people. Bro, I, my fans are all ages. So I got some in the background looking like, why is he trying to get them these flowers so bad? And g -Maw over here is like, oh, take the flowers. Take them. I'm gonna. So at the end of Pier Park, there's a huge Ferris wheel. If you ever been to Panama, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So crazy deranged shroom guy takes off walking. He's like, come on, I'm church. It seems he orchestrated a diabolical plan, an escape route. I'm like, 
Oh, all right, guess we're going somewhere. He starts walking towards the Ferris wheel. Keep in mind, people are still filming. So then we get in the line for the Ferris wheel. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, we're gonna ride the Ferris wheel and then I'm gonna, you know, give you the shrooms. Ugh, okay, I guess, whatever. He's like, hey, we hold this. And he hands me the, sh the vase and I'm holding it. And he's like, thanks. I'm like, would you want it back? He's like, no, my arm was hurting. <laughs> I've been holding it for a minute. So then everybody in the background goes, oh, all the grannies and shit in the background, they're oh, oh. So now it looks like this deranged creature gave me these flowers and now I'm taking him on a ride on the fucking Ferris wheel. <laughs> like this. The <laughs> Church is like, man, I just want to buy some shrooms, man. I ain't want to. <laughs> I didn't know I end up in this relationship in the public eye of these people. <laughs> uh, that's a that's quite the situation to be in, man. Doesn't look good. We ain't even took the shrooms yet. I don't even right. have them yet. Right. So as we're in line, you know, we're getting our way up there, and before you get to the actual Ferris wheel, there's like a photo booth. Dude, I ain't making this up. So we get all the way up there. You know, there's people that are, you know, getting off the Ferris wheel. They're like, dude, is that up church? So at this point, I'm in defense mode. I'm like, yo, fuck up church, dude. I hate him. So anyway, we're almost to the photo booth. I'm holding this vase. I'm looking at all these people looking at me like, what the fuck? Mushroom Ricky, he forgot his wallet. So I'm like, fuck, I guess I'll pay for both of us. By the way, Mushroom Ricky got some real frizzy ass hair like the chick off Waterworld. That makes giving him flowers and paying for his stuff just a tad bit weirder, if you ask me. So we're going in the photo booth. There's a lady in there. She looks like she's ready for the fucking Ferris wheel to tip over. She's got fuck you go die face. She wasn't having it. So I'll pull my wallet out. I go ahead and pay for our fucking photo that we got to take. And then he's like, hey, you can go ahead and give me that. And I was like, oh, all right. I wasn't thinking about it. So I pulled out a couple hundred bucks, gave it to him. The lady's looking at us all weird. And we're like, he's all holding these flowers and taking this money, taking this picture with me in this booth. <laughs> oh God. Mushroom Ricky excited as fuck. The lady's like, this is the one with the clear floor. And I'm like, what? What do you know? There's only one with the clear floor and me and Mushroom Ricky got it. So we get on, you know, he's fucking touching all the little buttons and shit, fucking making it rock back and forth. And I was like, all right, you gotta quit doing all that. So I'm like, hey, let me get those shrooms real quick. We probably only got like two turns and then we gotta get off. So he's like, oh yeah, my bad dude, I forgot. I just really love Ferris wheels. So inside the vase, he had the bag of shrooms in between all the roses, the stems. He thought this was the most inconspicuous, non-weird way to do this. So I'm like, hey, let me get those. He's like, oh yeah, my bad, I forgot, I got you. And he sits down on the floor and, you know, starts pulling the roses out and they're oh landing all over goodness. the ground. Keep in mind, there's a, a see-through floor. I ain't even paying attention. He's doing his thing. I'm on my phone standing up and telling my security, like, yo, get the car ready. And the people that I saw <laughs> right before we ready. got off, they're down there filming. Yeah. So they're looking up, see... So when you look up from underneath, when we're, you know, on the fucking Ferris wheel, all you see is his ass on the ground, a bunch of roses, and then, and then my feet standing up. Bro, what is happening in that Ferris wheel cart? I don't look good. Man, talk about mixed reviews on the Bro. Panama City Beach Facebook page. <laughs> and not from just one angle either. More like 30. Better get off the Ferris wheel because the ride's over. Everybody's just kind of looking at us like... They ain't saying nothing, they're just looking. Mushroom Larry got all paranoid. He don't fucking understand. I don't understand. I don't even know at the time. I'm kind of like, what, what is everybody looking at? Mushroom Ricky's all paranoid. He's like, fuck, they know I sold drugs. They didn't know nothing about the drugs. So out of nowhere, when it's awkwardly quiet, for reason unknown to me at this time, he looks at everybody with his fucking tilted face and fucking yells out, we were just sniffing flowers. Then he clicks this Bluetooth thing he had on his belt and they started playing bad boys and he took off running. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's inspiration or if that's just a, a next level crazy person. You gotta be some kind of crazy to wanna run from the cops listening to the theme song of cops. It's probably why he runs and walks the way he does. He's trained himself to do it. Right. He's ready for action. So yeah, just be careful buying shrooms in Panama. You never know, it could look like something else. One minute you're like, ah, I need some shrooms. And the next minute you're like, nah, I wasn't doing no weird gay activity. <laughs> with that guy with beads in his beard. But hey, didn't nobody ask me for a picture the rest of the day? Now that is a funny ass story. <laughs> oh my goodness. Woo. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me. Thank you guys for commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.